Hello, all. Hi, we're here to talk about the Monroe Institute Expand app. I'm Stephen Ikwisang, the Executive Director and President of the Monroe Institute. And I'm joined today with Paul Citarella, who is the Chief Technology Officer, as well as Alan Evans, who is our Chief Program Officer. So this is really exciting for us to talk about our Expand app. Um, I'll say personally, you know, I've been on the board for quite a few years, and we've talked about this for at least 10 years to bring an app that allow us to get it out to more people. And uh, the team has just done a wonderful job of what they've created to get it out to even more people. So I'm very excited uh, for us to share with you what it does, the content that we have. And again, our goal is to help reach it out to as many people as possible. So uh, Paul, would you like to uh, share a little bit more about the app? Of course, yes, thank you. And uh, thank you everyone for coming. It's great to see uh, so many people interested in this app. Um, it's, uh, you know, as Stephen said, it's, it's kind of been a long time coming and uh, um, it's great to see it out there and, uh, and the feedback that we're getting is fantastic. So, um, so what we'll do, I'm going to actually share my screen on my phone here and then we're gonna, we're gonna do a little walk through, uh, through the app and I'll kind of point out um, kind of how it works and, and uh, we'll talk about some of the content and some of the plans we have for the app coming up and, uh, uh, a couple of other things as well. We'll do some Q&A. All right. So uh, what I'm going to do is just launch the app here and we'll go through it um, as somebody would see it if they're coming in for the first time and we can kind of talk through all, all of the, the uh, functionality in the app. Um, so once you download it from the app store, the first thing you'll see is just kind of this initial uh, kind of loading screen here as everything gets ready. Um, and then when you're coming in for the first time, this is what you're going to see, this little intro sequence. And the, the, the purpose of this is to get people to really understand what this app is about. And the best way to do that is to actually get in and have an experience. You know, this app is all about, you know, our content, the meditations that we've created for this app. Um, and of course, Monroe Sound Science, which we're going to be talking about. Um, so this first little five minute exercise is just a, a brief exercise. It's a relaxation exercise. Um, and it's, it's been uh, really effective at kind of giving people a hint of what this app is all about. Um, so we won't play the whole thing, but if you play this, basically it starts, uh, you know, playing a meditation so you can go through and listen to that. Um, and then the next step, oh, thought I turned that off. And then the next step is um, a, a brief sort of intro about uh, Monroe Institute and Monroe Sound Science um, so that you understand that there's more, you know, there's more to this app than just sort of uh, guided meditations. There really is a lot of science that backs uh, what we're doing in the app. Um, so there's a quick intro about that. Um, and then the next thing you do is to personalize the experience in the app. You can select categories that are interesting to you. Um, and this drives, we'll see this when we get into the app, but this drives uh, how the app behaves. So let's say uh, relaxation, sleep, um, and of course, uh, beyond the physical, that's always a good one. So let's continue there. Um, and then you've got a, a, the registration screen here. So just name and email. Uh, I already have my account. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, sign in real quick. Oops, got to spell things right. Okay, um, so logging in, uh, the first thing that you see is we're on the experience tab. So the tabs along the bottom of the screen are the main navigation and that's the main sections of the app. We'll go through each of those. Um, so what I'm seeing first of all is obviously the Monroe Institute. This is the Nancy Penn Center at the Virginia campus. Um, and it's, uh, for those who have been there, it is really a, a magical place. Uh, it's incredibly beautiful. It's tucked in the mountains in Virginia. It's, uh, it really is uh, stunning. Um, and we've got a quote here from our founder, uh, Robert Monroe. Um, and then as we get into going a little further down here, the experience tab is really where all of the meditation content is. All of the experiences that we've created for the app are here. And the first section you see at the top is recommended for you. So this is based on the, the settings, the categories that I selected that I was interested in uh, just previously. Um, and that's driving these suggestions. Um, so basically it's suggesting exercises based on you know, my preferences. Um, and then as we go down, uh, we have sort of the categories. Um, so we have seven categories of meditations and we'll talk about what, what are in each of those. Um, but as you go uh, down, you can basically sort of scroll 
<clears throat> sideways and uh, and browse through all of the content that we have. Um, many of these uh, these uh, exercises actually have some of them are just one duration, but a lot of them have uh, multiple durations to choose from. So there might be a five minute version and also a twenty minute version. Um, so you'll see some of those exercises in here as well. Um, and then scrolling down, we've got, you know, again, the rest of the categories. And uh, the one thing I'll point out as, as we're looking at this, um, some of these you'll see that there is a lock icon in the top right corner of the image. So having just signed in, um, I haven't paid anything yet. So everything that I'm seeing now is what anyone can get in and see the app. And you can see this for free. And we have about two or three uh, exercises in each of the groups uh, categories that is free and will be free forever. So we wanted to make sure that you didn't have to pay to get you know, at least some understanding of what we have to offer. And we wanna make sure we're providing some value you know, to, to the public um, at no cost. We are a nonprofit. Um, so you'll see the ones that have the locks, if you click into one of those, um, you'll see that uh, to play this specific exercise, I would subscribe. And the way that the subscription model works uh, is you subscribe, and it's an annual fee, and then that gives you access to everything that's in the app. Um, so all of the content, uh, we'll see what that looks like, um, as well as all the features and the functionality. And it's a yearly uh, subscription, and then it renews uh, you know, every year. Um, so then, uh, let's see. So taking a look at one of the, uh, the free ones, um, I can see that um, this one, you know, I've got uh, obviously the title. Oh, let me just scoot back in here. Um, Got the title, we've got the star rating, which is coming from users. Um, this is a guided exercise. Um, right. So and it's 10 minutes long. And then as we uh, click into this, we can see some details about the exercise itself. Um, so each of these is gonna have uh, you know, a description of what, you know, what the exercise is about. Uh, and then at the bottom, we have our call out here to learn more about Monroe Sound Science. Um, again, there's a lot of science that backs the content that's here in the app, and we wanted to describe to people, you know, what it is. It's a question that comes up all the time is, you know, what is Monroe Sound Science? Um, so there's a good description of that here. Uh, and then when you get into the app uh, and you, uh, sorry, get into the exercise to play it, um, the first thing we have is just this brief introduction uh, to give you kind of a prep of what you can expect, how you can prepare for the exercise. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, headphones are essential. Um, the technology works you know, using, uh, you know, sort of both um, left and right channels. So head headphones are important. Uh, it's good to do it in a quiet place. Obviously, this is sort of a meditative experience. Get comfortable and be curious. You know, lots of interesting things can happen as you're uh, uh, listening to these exercises. So... Uh, from there, when you're ready, you get into the player and then, you know, just click play and you, you're, you're off and running into an exercise. Um, so we'll play the whole thing. Um, and then let's jump out to the next tab, because after you finish an exercise, um, the next prompt that you'll get is to journal and reflect on your experiences. Um, so coming on the second into the second tab on the bottom here, we have um, reflect the, the section of the app, which is all about journaling. Um, so I'll go ahead and create an entry so we can see what that's like. And, and again, this is really about reflecting, capturing your thoughts, um, you know, documenting your experiences. Um, this, this kind of reflection is really an important part of the Monroe process. And when you do residential programs, this is, this is built into everything that we do. So you do an exercise and then you take time to reflect and really sort of um, digest what you've experienced um, so let's go ahead and we'll just uh, call this. Test. Yeah, you know, Paul, that's really important. Uh, when mm -hmm. you do training and even as a uh, participant, there's so many times I've seen it where you have a session, you get information back. It doesn't make sense right away. And then you go back to it a year later and you go, wow, that's what that meant. So I know it's something we always really emphasize uh, as part of our training to make sure you do that. And I'm, I know you're going to show it, but we have some great search features there. So this is going to be a whole lot easier to find it than the stack of notebooks I have at home. So <laughs> it's gonna be great. Absolutely, yep. Uh, okay, so then you can uh, journal. You can also use um, the, the uh, voice dictation uh, built into your device. Um, so you can actually just voice dictate so you don't have to type a whole uh, lot of stuff with your thumbs. Um, and then we have tagging. So um, tagging is really about just categorizing your journal entries in a way that makes sense to you. Um, so I've got, you know, some tags that I've already set up here. So let's say I had an out-of-body experience during an exercise. I might want to, you know, tag that so I could go back and see all of my journal entries that had that kind of experience. Or maybe I got some really good guidance 
um, that I can, you know, use in, in my everyday life. Um, and then, you know, to create a tag, you can just, you know, tap here and add as many tags as you want. Um, so that's super easy to do. Uh, and then we save our journal entry. Um, and there we go. So now we're looking at, now that we've created a journal entry, this uh, screen would have your listing of all your journal entries. Uh, you can filter that listing by tag. So if I wanted to say, show me all my journal entries where I got some really good guidance, um, I can sort of filter it that way. So that's really easy to do. Uh, and then of course it's searchable. Um, so you can search the entire content of your journal entries. Um, if you wanna find something you, you know, I remember I had this kind of experience and I wanted to you know, find that. So, um, so that's there as well. Um, so that's kind of the basics of journaling. And when you, when you create a journal entry after an, uh, going through an exercise and meditation, that will automatically be linked to the journal entry. So you'll actually see the meditation that you did that prompted this journal entry. Um, so that's gonna be there as well. And let's see, so then the timer section, the next tab along the bottom, um, this section is really about um, allowing you to have an unguided experience. Uh, many of the meditations that are in the experience part of the app are guided meditations where uh, you know a Monroe trainer is, is voicing you through an exercise. Um, but as people get on and have their own, you know, want to have their own experience or they're doing daily meditation, you don't always need that guidance. So this section of the app is really about uh, these unguided experiences. And the way this works is um, you have two choices to make. The first is the signals that you want. So the signals is the Monroe sound science uh, part of the experience. And, and these are really geared at different brainwave states. So if you want to enhance creativity and manifestation, we have specific signals and a specific state of consciousness that's really good for that kind of activity. Um, or you just want to do, you're, you're doing some focused work and you really want to enhance your attention. Um, the, our, our Monroe Sound Science can do that as well. It's not just about getting you into a deep meditative state. Um, it's brainwave entrainment, and that can be used for all sorts of different uh, um, activities. Um, then we've got meditation. You'll see here as well from a subscription standpoint, some of these are free, some of these you subscribe to get access to. So we have meditation as well. Um, then we've got uh, just a relaxation if you really just wanna unplug and relax at the end of the day. And sleep, uh, we have some really great um, signals that can help, help you get, uh, get to sleep easier and really get a good night's sleep. Uh, and then the second choice- I that one last night actually, Paul, and I, I loved it, it was great. Oh, excellent. Yeah. Yeah. That, that one's really good. That one's really, uh, really effective. Yeah. And then the, the second choice you have um, is the background that you want to hear. So the, the signals is about what's the brainwave state you want. And the second choice is the background. So you might just say, I just want the pure, you know, tones and there's sort of a, you know, white noise uh, kind of noise in the background. Uh, we've also got nature uh, sounds, um, and this can sort of, depending on the, on this brainwave state, it might be sort of, uh, you know, water sounds, or it might be rain or, um, a couple of different nature sounds there. And then we've got uh, a soundscape, which is kind of a, you know, a mellow musical uh, sort of soundscape to play behind it. Um, so you've got some choices. And this is an area where we're going to be doing a lot of expansion. Um, so what we have here is great to get us started. And we're going to be adding different backgrounds. We're going to be adding uh, different sets of signals for other purposes. So a lot more to come here. Uh, and then the last section across the bottom is your profile. Um, so you, uh, I've already set up my profile. So obviously I have your name. You can choose the background image. Uh, you can choose your, uh, your avatar image to the, to the left of my name here. Um, you can give yourself a little bio and then we've got some stats here. Uh, we're also going to be expanding this a lot. Currently, this is tracking your streak, which is how many days in a row you've actually meditated using the expand app. Um, so you've got your current streak and then you've got your longest streak, which is sort of like your record. Um, and then the other thing I'll point out here is this restore purchase uh, button. This is useful if you um, have bought it on one device and you want to get it on your second device. Um, we also support family sharing, which is great. So if you buy it and you want to share it with someone else in your family, uh, this is available as well. And this restore purchase button, um, sometimes if you log in on a, on a different uh, device, it doesn't automatically pick up the subscription. So you can just hit this and that will um, sync to the app store and then make sure that your subscription is reflected in the app. So one thing, Paul, I know you, you've been meditating or using it more than three days. <laughs> yes. Oh, this is my test account. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know that's not true. <laughs> right. Right. Absolutely. Um, 
So, so as far as the, the content in the app and the features, um, that's where we are for now. Uh, we're going to talk more about what's coming because we have a lot of really exciting plans for the app. Um, but I think now's a good time to start talking about the content because, um, you know, especially this experience section is all about these guided meditations. Um, so, Alan, yeah, if you want to maybe talk us through uh, kind of each of these uh, categories here as we go and, and tell us a bit about what we can expect. Okay, so the relaxation and healing. Uh, definitely will be guided meditations primarily that are helping you get into a relaxed state or to focus on your own healing, whether emotional, spiritual, physical. Um, and what I love about this um, that we've done, Paul, is that it's different, as you mentioned, different links. So it can be a five minute experience of forgive, you know, going through a forgiveness um, exercise, or it can be extended or longer. So, um, and it definitely, it's very helpful that you've got them that we've got them by categories because we do have different interests and they serve as practical interests like relaxation that's a very practical experience to have but maybe I also want to be doing some of that non-physical you know <laughs> for enjoyment uh, or, or journeying and then joy and meaning is a is another category that we have and uh, they're very descriptive titles um, and we've got how many voicers do we have Paul we've got uh, there are five trainers basically or actually yeah it's four. five and then we have some some uh some stuff from other people that have been involved with Monroe over the years so maybe six or seven somewhere and we have, uh, like Mark Serto and then we have mm -hmm. um Luigi Scambriella uh, Andrea Berger Joe Gallenberger uh, just to name a few yeah. that, that have um, helped us with the development of the content and then also the the voicing um, and we yourself, were, Alan. You've yeah, done, you've done too. I like yours. <laughs> <laughs> we were lucky that we had people who were trained uh, yeah. to do this already because, you know, if you think about it, it really helped us get to um, this completion of this project much sooner than if we had had to uh, teach people what equipment to buy and, and how to edit their own voice. And right. so um, we well, were. Well, and that's a key thing to point out, too, is that really we drew from our residential and our virtual programs. And we drew from that to create the content that we have here. So it's the trainer's experience. It's the technology we've developed and we've just put that all together. So, but yeah, please go ahead. So sleep and dreaming. I love this category. Uh, we all need help with sleep. And again, it, it, there's a, a practical side to this. Uh, we have a signal that just will can continue to loop for you. Is that correct, Paul, that you can work uh, with? We don't have looping now. That's something that will be coming. Um, so for now, yeah, it's just the exercise. Okay. And then also we have um, exercises that help us with dreaming, whether that's like understanding our dreams or lucid dreaming. Uh, so we do have some, uh, it's a mix of both practical and helping us sleep better because we all know how important sleep is. And we also know how many people aren't sleeping well. Um, but then we have these exercises that we can be more engaged uh, during, that, that, during that time, which can also become more of a meditative time as well. Um, insight and intuition, of course, that's really getting us into connecting with guidance and higher self, uh, other entities and outside sources. So it's a fun one. Uh, and usually, you know, you can think about this as a way that you're uh, getting information support beyond the physical. So it's, it's one of my favorite categories. And then, of course, creativity and manifestation. Um, one of the things we've always done at Monroe if we've had uh, exercises that we tend to say the word patterning that we are um, working towards or, or putting our focus and attention towards what we really want in our environment and world. So we've got several exercises around that, which also include conditional love, because we think the heart and, and coming from that space is very important. And then nurturing healthy relationships, that pretty much speaks for itself. And it's also steps into the nurturing of the self. And then beyond physical, uh, that's where we're doing the out of body. That's where we're doing some things like uh, the portal and the gateway. You know, so we're, we're taking some journeys uh, that are encouraging us to experience our non-physical world. So that's it's my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think it's most people's favorite, but, I, but I'm a big believer in the practical use of this stuff. Mm -hmm. And that's why I love that I've, it's going to be in my back pocket. You know, it, right. it's, it's going to be right there with me. So if I go to the dentist, I have something I can play to help that, you know, reduce that anxiety. If I'm flying and I need to take a nap, 
Right. You know, I've got uh, a, a something to support me in, in doing so. If I'm in pain, you know, just uh, tripped and hurt my leg or something, uh, mm-hmm. then I've got tools, again, now in my back pocket uh, that I can use to support myself and my healing. Yeah, absolutely. Um, that's great. And, and the last thing I'll just mention uh, that we see at the bottom here is, um, you know, how you would actually go through and, and subscribe. So if you do want to subscribe to get access to the to the entire uh, library of content, uh, just click the button. And then uh, the process is really simple. I won't go through it here, but um, it's basically the same that you would do through any sort of in-app purchase in, uh, in any other app. You just hit the button and then uh, it all goes through the app store. So all the billing happens through Apple or Google. Um, so that's the uh, subscription process. All right, great. Okay, so we're getting lots of uh, questions coming in. So let's do a bit of Q&A. Okay. Uh, the first one I see is what audio technology is in the app? Paul, would you like to take that one? Yes, definitely. All right, there we go. Just getting a screen share there. Um, okay, so uh, the audio technology, we've gotten a lot of questions around this and, and uh, questions like, is this binaural beats? What's going on in here? So um, what we, we use the term Monroe Sound Science uh, basically as an umbrella term to kind of reference all of the different techniques that we use. Um, and everything that we do in terms of the audio technology is really about brainwave entrainment. This is something that we've been working with for over 40 years um, and have a tremendous breadth of experience to, to develop this kind of technology. Um, it, it's all different ways of encouraging your brain waves to match certain frequencies. Um, and this is something that, you know, again, that the Institute has been doing forever is Bob mapped out specific states of awareness in his, in his sort of exploration of consciousness and basically tried to reverse engineer, like what are the brain waves that are actually going on when I'm in this state? And then we developed, you know, um, uh, you know, frequencies to to help other people achieve those same states. So that's kind of what's underlying everything that we do in terms of the audio technology. Um, and we call it Monroe Sound Science. And it uses at this point, we have over 50 different techniques, um, different brainwave entrainment techniques that we use. Um, but what's in the app is is our latest generation of sort of technology. And it uses a technique called phase modulation. Um, it's something that we've been developing for the past several years, um, and it's been in testing. Uh, we've used it in uh, our, our discovery program, which is basically a research program where we have people come in and we wire them up with EEGs, um, and we have them go through these experiences, and we look at what their brainwaves are doing. Um, so this has really been extensively developed, and we found that it's really, really effective. Um, it's, it can help people reach the same kind of states that we reach in our residential programs, um, and it has an added benefit that it uh, allows you to bring a much greater awareness into that experience so that when you're going into these really deep meditative states, um, you're actually bringing more of your conscious awareness with you. So you're more present during that experience. And you also have better retention of that experience when you come out of it. So that's what's really interesting about this latest generation. Um, and we've done a lot of testing. We'll talk more about that. But um, it's it, the, the uh, feedback that we've gotten so far from this is, is really great. And this is really what's the, the expand app is the first time we're rolling out this new technology sort of to the, to the wider public. So it's been sort of in our programs and the discovery program, and now we're opening this up. So I'm really excited about that. It's, it's, it's very, very cool. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Uh, I see the, the next question is how does this app relate to Hemisync? Uh, so I'm going to take this one. And I'll read it out because there's some details and nuances there that it's important to be really clear about. So as many may know, uh, Hemisync is the brand name that Bob Monroe gave to the binaural beats that he created many, many years ago. And he developed this to expand the states of awareness that he experienced and and documented in his books. So we've been using this in our residential programs for over 40 years, and and we still do, um, with some really good results. And so what Bob did was he decided, hey, this is something that I can sell. So he created a separate company called Interstate Industries. um, And he used that to sell and market Hemisync. So that was a for-profit business. And then he also had the Monroe Institute, which is a not-for-profit, which is what we we all represent here, um, to really help train and share this knowledge out there. So the for-profit organization was owned by the Monroe family. Uh, after Bob passed. And the Monroe Institute, the not-for-profit, was converted over to be run by the board. 
And that's the way it's been for the last uh, several years. So there are two separate organizations. Now we have very good relationship together. We work together, um, but there are two separate organizations. And I want to emphasize that. Uh, so then about 2017, um, Hemisync uh, was sold to uh, Garrett Stevens, who is an outreach trainer of the Monroe Institute. Uh, you know, he loves what we do here and he wanted to buy the, the company. So he bought the company from the Monroe family and Garrett's been running it um, since then. And so, you know, um, he continues to develop his technology and, you know, sell the Hemisync out to the public. So for us, um, we continued on also developing our technology and our research. And that is what we've put into the Monroe Sound Science. And that's really what we're using in our app right now. So um, of course, we realized we really need to get it out there. So we decided to create our Expand app. Uh, Monroe, sorry, um, Garrett's organization has a Hemisync app. And to be very clear, they are two different things. So Monroe Institute has the Expand app and Garrett has his Hemisync app. Uh, there is no connection between the two. We don't share information. Um, we don't share the Hemisync technology or the Monroe Sound Science technologies. They are separate. Um, so yeah, so we developed this app with the goal of getting it out there. Uh, it was really important to us to reach more people. And by experiencing our Monroe Sound Science, we're hoping that people can come in and have these wonderful experiences. So this is one way that we can definitely get it out there. So we do continue to do our research, as Paul was talking about. Uh, we have a discovery program where we uh, try out different sounds and then we measure it on an EEG to see what's actually working. We also uh, partner uh, with the uh, University of Virginia, the DOPS program, to make sure that uh, we have some good sound science uh, uh, technology and research behind it. So it's important that that all works. So that's a big part of us to do research and prove that this technology works and continue to experiment. So that's what we're doing. Um, for us, this is a, a really core cool part of what we do. And again, the whole purpose about creating the Expand app was to get it out there. But uh, do want to again emphasize Hemisync and the Expand, the Monroe Institute Expand app are two separate things. So hopefully that clears it up. Um, if you've got any more questions around that, you can certainly send us an email to our support at monroeinstitute.org and we can help explain that. Hopefully that helped. <laughs> Very good. All right. Perfect. <laughs> uh, the next question we have, uh, will there be new content and features released for the app going forward? Yes. Yes, yep. there will be. We, um, we have a meditation app committee that um, is working very, it's, it's comprised of uh, three trainers and Paul, and then of course our sound engineer, Bob Holbrook. And so we are continually looking at what we can develop and, and of course, our primary focus has been what we just released. Uh, but now moving forward, we will be adding content weekly. And we even have some that were scheduled for this particular first launch that we even held back on because we ended up having exactly what we needed for the first launch. So those will be ready to go pretty quickly. And then also what we're doing, for, well, we want to hear from you for sure. But one of the things that we're considering doing is building more of a series that are a journey that takes you through several exercises for several days or a week or a month. So that's kind of our next idea of a, of a new focus level and content. And the other thing that's really exciting to me is that we have these amazing international uh, trainers, outreach trainers and local chapter network leaders. And they there's a big interest in translating these exercises for the world. So we're gonna be uh, accepting um, these, they'll send us a proposal about what they wanna do and then we'll be you know, rubber stamping it if we think, hey, this is great. So we'll be built, quickly building a collection of these different languages. So that's, I'm really excited about that. Yeah, Alan, I got a whole bunch of emails this morning about it, so. Oh, good. <laughs> well, Definitely a big interest. We have a process in place, so don't just start <laughs> translating. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, and I can I can speak quickly to some of the features that we're uh, that we're looking at oh, yeah. for the app as well, because um, it's it's important to note that you know this is not something where we just built the app and now you know that's the end of it. We have an internal t engineering team that's here you know permanently. Uh, we we're, we're continuing to build around this platform, um, and over time we really see this the, this mobile platform um, as a really a core part of how we engage with our audience. 
Um, there's other things coming. We have plans for the web as well. So there's, uh, you know, we have a lot of, a lot to do, but as far as the expand app, um, the next big feature that's really, that's really exciting is a community feature. Um, so we saw in the app, we looked at that profile uh, screen. That's actually kind of a teaser of what's coming. Um, that profile is going to be useful when we launch the community. And this community is all about helping uh, Monroe participants connect with each other and share experience. It's sort of a, you know, it's a closed, safe place where people can really, um, you know, open up with each other and share experiences. Um, and it's something that people do today, especially people who have gone through programs together um, at the Monroe Institute, they, they usually form really close bonds mm -hmm. uh, and they continue to share experiences as they learn and they grow and they help each other. Um, and that happens sort of ad hoc now. Sometimes it's a Facebook group, sometimes it's in WhatsApp or somewhere else. Um, the community that we're building is gonna bring that all together um, so that it's in one place. Um, and you'll have the ability to create events. Um, you can create events and uh, you know, do meditations from the app with those events. There are, there are groups you can set up. Our local, it'll be supporting all of our local chapter networks. Um, so there's really, really some great plans. And that's coming soon. And also, uh, we're gonna get that into beta testing uh, in August. Also, you can share your journal entries with uh, members yep. of the team or group. Yeah, exactly. That's kind of the primary way that people would share experiences is you journal something and say, hey, I want to share this with the group that I did Gateway with because um, yeah. it was really interesting. And I think they would all you know, be interested. Um, so, yeah, lots more coming. And then, of course, other smaller features, uh, you have plans for, um, you know, journeys like uh, uh, Alan was talking about where it sort of links multiple experiences together and can track your progress over multiple days. So, yes, lots to do. Yeah. <laughs> well, and I'm excited to use the community feature when we, you, you know, we have a local chapters where folks meet um, in the local regional areas. And we used to meet up at our homes, of course, but with COVID, we're doing it all virtually. But it'd be great to use that community feature as well in our local chapters. So we're excited to see that. Um, and, and to emphasize, too, we're going to look to use it in our courses coming down the future as well, where we can put some of the content there and you can share information even while you're doing the course. So we have this vision of integrating this all together and it's just excited as, as this is just the beginning folks and it's gonna get a lot more powerful. And even uh, kind of bringing in that ready light. Um, yes. Yeah. For those who have been to the Institute, you know about the ready light um, and it's just a way to let trainers know you're ready for the next exercise. So uh, we are excited about bringing that kind of control room access to participants. Exactly, yeah, yeah. All right, good. Uh, next question I see is, how can I get the app? Uh oh. Okay, that's an easy one. <laughs> so it is a mobile app. Um, it is available for both Apple and Android devices. Um, so it's available in the app stores. Uh, so if you go into the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store, uh, you can either search for Expand. The, the full name of the app is Expand Beyond Meditation. Uh, but you can just search for expand and it should be at the top of the list. You can also search for Monroe Institute and you should find it uh, there as well. Um, and then it's just just like any other app. You install it and you have it on your device and, and you're good to go. Excellent. And so related to that, people are wondering if they can get it on their laptop as well. Yeah, uh, that's a good question. Um, so generally uh, is not available on laptops. Uh, the exception to that is if you have a newer Mac laptop that has the Apple chip, those laptops are capable of running regular mobile apps. Um, so that's the one exception, but otherwise uh, it is not. However, um, as we talk about our future plans, uh, we do have plans to bring a lot of some, the, the content and the features, especially around the community onto the web as well. Um, so over time, we're looking to really kind of have a web uh, complement to this so that the two work hand in hand. So there'll be more coming. Makes sense. Makes sense. Now, some people are enjoying the content already and they're wondering, uh, you know, they still like to have their CDs. So are we planning to sell this as CDs in the bookstore? Ellen? So we are, but it's going to be limited and we'll be looking at bestsellers and the ones we're getting the most requests. Uh, so definitely we will still uh, provide that uh, while the technology still holds up to support it. Okay. All right. Uh, let's look at some of the other questions coming in. Um, are the exercises downloadable for airplane use? Good question. Ah, very good question. Oh, that is a good um, question. Yes, not yet, but that's coming. So that's, yeah, one of the other features that we're looking to add is to have that capability. So for now they are streaming, um, but yeah, that will be coming. Okay. 
Uh, I see a couple of questions around uh, doing searches. Can I search by a trainer? Can I search by length? Um, what are what is the capabilities of the app there, Paul? Yeah, search now is uh, is based on sort of the content of the exercise. Um, we're going to be adding in searching by trainer because that's something that has come up uh, a number of times that people have their favorite voice or you know favorite uh, you know, trainer that they like to hear. So uh, that's going to be coming as well. So we are going to be expanding search and giving you other ways to filter. Um, but for now, if you, you, it's based on the content that's uh, that's in the exercise itself. Good, good. Uh, I see some questions around the login that they use. So, so to emphasize and to talk about generally what we're planning to do is we are looking to really uh, create a whole platform. Uh, so the app is the beginning of it. And the same look and feel and content will essentially go over to our website at some point. Um, we're working through these long-term plans right now. And the idea is that at some point, you'll be able to log in through the app or through the website, and you'll have the same contents. Your purchases will be aligned, same uh, email addresses and passwords. Um, we haven't gotten there yet. That is in our long-term plan, so that will be coming as well. But our goal is to create you know, a unified, integrated platform where no matter whether you're using an app or a laptop or a tablet, it is all connected together. So uh, coming soon, uh, this is, as I said, just, just the beginning. Um, you know what? I see we're kind of running out of time, guys. So tell you what, maybe closing remarks. And I'd like to start with Alan and then Paul. So I do want to say something we didn't bring up, and that's about the beta testers. Okay. And we have about a 40, right, Paul? About yeah. Beta testers. They are, some are experienced Monroe people, some are brand new, and they are listening to these exercises, giving us feedback. Uh, and this is what we're doing before we're releasing it to the public. Also, before that even happened, the trainer team of, uh, on the meditation app committee did the same thing and also sometimes occasionally sent it out to other trainers if there was one we were having a question about uh, looking for response and reaction. So that's what I'm really proud of, that we've put this through a lot of paces before we deliver it to you. And then we do have that rating system. So you mm -hmm. use it and we use that to uh, make, make it better for you. So that's my closing remark, except also <laughs> Very good. I'll have it on my, in my <laughs> pocket. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Uh, Paul. Yeah. Um, well, you know, I, I have to say we, we really have such a great team. Um, you know, a lot of people have been involved in this effort. Um, people you see here, but and many more, you know, besides us as well. So we have our engineering team. We have our content development team. Um, and and uh, everyone has been really passionate about about putting something out there that's really delivering the Monroe experience to a new audience. Um, so it's very exciting. I'm just so happy that I was able to be a part of it. So uh, that's really exciting to me. Um, and the, and then the last thing I'll say is I'm really we're all always really interested in feedback. So if you have any feedback or if you have a problem or anything, you can email us at uh, support at MonroeInstitute.org. Uh, or expand at monroeinstitute.org, either one. Um, and we'd love to hear your comments, questions, suggestions. Um, that's been a key part of the process of, of designing the app in the first place, was really involving the Monroe community in, in what we put together and, and how we do it. So um, yeah, please keep it coming. It's a fantastic community. Wonderful. So a couple of things. Um, I do want to emphasize that you can get the app on the Google Store and the Apple Store. Just look for Monroe Institute or look for Expand, and that will get you there to download the app. And I really hope you enjoy it. Um, to echo a bit what Paul said, I definitely would love to thank the team, our program team, our uh, IT team, as well as our marketing team for getting it out there. And lastly, a huge thank you to our donors. Um, we had some substantial donations which really made this all possible. Because again, we've talked about it for 10 years. We wanted to do it. Uh, it's a substantial investment to get us there. Um, so you know who you are. A uh, big thank you for helping us do that because this enabled us to put together this wonderful team that made our dream come true. And we again, we've talked about this for 10 years on the board and it is, I'm so excited uh, just to see it there. And as Alan said, have it in my hand. And this is the beginning. We see just wonderful features we can bring forward integration into our residential and our virtual programs, just building a virtual huge community. Um, and, and again, because our mission is global awakening of humanity and we, we need to get it out there. And this is one of the key ways we're doing that. And it's just exciting to see the dream coming true. 
So thank you all. Thank you for everyone involved in the project. And again, thank you to our donors for helping make this possible. Bye now. Bye.